Yay! This video is about creating new drugs that keep people skinny which benefits their physiological well-being. If everyone on Earth had cheap food perhaps from putting a carboxyl COOH group on hydrocarbons from coal to make artificial food oil then 3 of 7 billion people could face plumpness. Even with current levels of calorie availability the WHO says plumpness is currently forecast as the Earth's leading cause of disease creating enough heart disease and diabetes to make malaria look puny and weak. Thus a truly effective pleasant beneficial diet pill is of value. Recently popular science reported on the removal of the reverse munchies pill as a slimness drug noting that MJ caused the munchies scientists came up with a cannabinoid receptor occupying drug as a strategy to reduce appetite MJ causes certain kinds of feelings though thus the new drug caused on high feelings which were so drastic that drug had to be removed from clinical trials. Now this video these are a few apparently novel approaches to a slimness drug. I've read that fidgeting assists those who keep svelte. I think it is possible that high AMU compounds that stay on the body side of the blood brain barrier could keep people trim. Often, a yawn stretch or a massage feels good. A drug that caused those pleasant feelings of motion outside of CNS stimulation could make simple movements like fidgeting a pleasure. There are a few approaches, such as find out what skin or muscle receptors make warm sun or massages feel good, then develop drugs to affect those receptors. Give the molecules a high AMU to keep them just on the body side of the blood brain barrier. There is also the approach of describing a currently known compound gen linking it to another molecule, to keep it at the body side of the blood-brain barrier. Noting that fluorophores are attached to a variety of drugs with a hydrocarbon linear linker that preserves both the drug's function plus the light-up capability of the fluorophore thus the high AMU linker drug approach is of value. Phenylethylamine PEA as well as the numerous physiologically active similar chemicals such as dopamine epinephrine MDMA could be made as PEA high AMU versions then sampled as to physiological effect. Welbutrin Welbutrin causes slimness, gives women more orgasms, lifts mood, and reduces addictive behavior scientists are now studying it as a slimness drug it is possible that Welbutrin has a peripheral nervous system effect as well as a brain effect. Thus creating Welbutrin linker high AMU drug that stays on the body side of the blood brain barrier is a slimming drug with a higher likelihood of beneficial side effects. Welbutrin directly affects the release body chemicals dopamine as well as epinephrine. It's also of note that 300 calories per day from voluntary movement is near 40 pounds per year of BMI. These three approaches. A pill that when you move it feels like sun basking or massage thus people move more frequently as well as a phenylethylamine derivative that stays on the body side of the blood-brain barrier. As well as a version of Welbutrin that stays on the body side of the blood-brain barrier are always to create slimness. Each presents an opportunity to create a drug that could benefit billions of people. You watched all that video about how to save hundreds of millions of lives while benefiting billions of people, assuming they got school to begin with. Now as a treat there is the Jessica Rabbit pill as well as an awesome video about a high turtle. Estrogen Estrogen gives women curves, thus a slimming drug that gives women curves, where they prefer them as a benefit. Estrogen linked to PEA at high AMU builds breast size while slimming. The high AMU keeps the estrogen at the body side of the blood-brain barrier thus minimizing possible PMS feelings. Now a public message about cannabinoid receptors.